Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created a relaxing ambiance in my master bath in just a few easy steps. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's jump right in. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you guys are not familiar with Skillshare, they are an amazing online learning community. And what I love about them is that they offer so many classes on so many different topics, such as creating beautiful floral arrangements and interior decorating. So if you are an interior decorator lover like myself, and you've never had any previous schooling, but you would like to educate yourself a little bit, this is is definitely a great opportunity for you. All of the videos that I've seen are extremely educational and really fun. This course, for example, Interior Decorate Like a Boss, gave me the best ideas to incorporate when styling certain areas in my home that I never would have thought of using. One of my favorite courses was this abstract art quickly and easy. This was a art painting beginners class and it was perfect for someone like me. The way that the courses are broken down allows you to read about the instructor, the class, and even see some of the previous artwork. So after taking the class, I felt pretty confident enough to take on this DIY of doing some abstract art. So I'm going to show you guys how it turned out. So I scored two of these frames from Ross and they have a white full wood frame with a white mat and at $12.99 that was a score. So I prepped by using my dog uh, potty training pads just because we no longer use them. So I basically just use them for projects like these. Um, then I have just some water. I have a little mixing palette there for some paints. Then I picked up these um, drop acrylic paints from Michaels. I picked up them in white, silver, and black. And because they didn't have a blush color that I was kind of looking for, I figured I would make my own with just traditional acrylic paint. I also was lucky enough to find this watercolor pad from Ross. It was actually on clearance. It was marked down to like $3 and some change and I thought it was such a great deal. Um, just especially for the project that I was kind of doing it for. Um, I was trying to keep it budget friendly so I was glad that I found those and then I'm just using my paint brushes that I've already had for quite some time. And then here I'm just um, pouring out my colors and I'm getting ready to start my painting. So here I'm just applying some of the techniques that I learned from my online course, from my instructor. And I think one of the things that really attracted me to taking this course was that she teaches how abstract art doesn't need to be perfect and it should be just whatever you want it to be basically. So I like that there was really no pressure in, you know, creating something a specific way. I kind of just played around with colors until I liked the way that it looked and I really liked my final project. So this is the final look guys, I love it. I think it's gonna look so pretty once it's in the frames too. I think next time I will play around with texture and maybe add some glitter. So now moving on to the good stuff. So you guys know I love to show you a good before. So this is what my master bath area currently looks like, which isn't bad. It's just very plain. I haven't done much to the space, so it's definitely in need of some loving. So let's get started. I picked up this gray basket from Marshalls and it was $14.99 and I just really like the size and the way the lid opened up. Baskets are such a good way to display your towels in a bathroom and they're usually pretty budget friendly. Whenever I am displaying towels in a basket, I like to use the rolled up effect. I just like the way that they look. They look really nice and just put together. Here I'm just using two towels that I've had. 
these two are new and I also picked them up from Marshalls they really gave me a hotel slash spa vibe I just liked how plush they were and I thought they would look so pretty displayed in front of the basket Apothecary jars such as this one are such a great way to display all of your bath essentials such as bath salts and that's basically what I'm going to be using this one for. The size of this one makes it perfect for bath bombs, which is what I'm using it for. But you can always also use it to put maybe some sponges or even razors or anything that you feel that you use a lot that would fit perfect in this tall and narrow apothecary jar. I found this really cute jar at Marshall's in the kitchen section and it is probably to be used for like olive oil or vinegar but I thought it would be really cute to store and hold my soak for my bath. I personally am not a huge fan of towel bars, but just to not leave it plain, I am using some white hand towels and creating a layered look to add some texture just to tie in with the spa look and feel. I do however like the tub rack and they just look really nice and come in so handy. Here I'm just showing you a few ways that you can style it and use it. Um, these are also great tips if you are a home stager or even if you are you know, uh, putting your home on the market and you are trying to find ways to stage your bathroom, these are nice tips to achieve that look. Stay tuned for part two of my bath look where I'm going to show you how I redid my shower and my vanity area. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look. I wanted to share with you 
so bad and I hope that you also enjoyed my abstract art. I really like the way that it turned out. And if you guys want to check out Skillshare for yourself, I'm going to drop a link in the description box for you guys to check out. Uh, my friends over at Skillshare are giving you two months to try it out completely free. So I hope you guys give it a shot. If you do, comment below and let me know. I'd love to know all about it. And as always, I love you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on the next video. I am off to enjoy my bath. Bye!